Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe it. Uh, today's video, we are going to talk about uh, uh, promise.all. I've already posted some videos regarding promises, how they could be used in uh, JavaScript. Uh, today is a very small video about promise.all uh, that could be used with multiple API calling. Now, sometimes there is a requirement where we are calling multiple APIs to fetch data and uh, we have to wait for all the data that's to be fetched and then primarily use it uh, to make it more like a synchronous call uh, rather than just fetching one API and then going about this. So you could uh, join all the calling into a single promise like dot resolve and then use it uh, from there, whether in your React app or your Node app. Uh, now, promise.all uh, is actually a method that returns a single promise and that resolves when all the input promises have been resolved. So it means if you pass on two, three or multiple API calls, so it would only resolve when all the other promises which have been uh, as the, in the form of an API calls have been resolved. So that's where it, it, it just waits for all the uh, API calls to finish it off. And uh, the second thing is the returned promise when it resolves, when all the, so let's say you are making two calls to two external APIs. So when all the promises have been resolved, send, so then the promise.all resolves, and then it gives you uh, the results in the form of an array, which is result one for the API call one and result two for the API call two. So that's how we could access that. We'll actually see in the practical also. And uh, if any one of the promise rejects, like so let's say you're calling two, uh, two API calls. So the first one is rejected then the promise.all method immediately returns a promise that rejects with the error. So it doesn't really bother about the other promises to finish it off because one of the promise has ret uh, returned an error or it has returned with the rejection. So that's all the promise.all works around. So let's practically see how we could use promise.all uh, within our Node.js to call multiple APIs. So in this case, we are going to use the same uh, JSON placeholder API uh, that I discussed in my last video for the API calling, uh, but we'll be calling two APIs rather than one API so that we can demonstrate the promise.all. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, we'll use the const axios uh, to require uh, the axios package so that we could use it. That's one. And now I'm just going to make the promise.all. So I'll say promise.all. And uh, I need to pass on the promises, multiple API calls in the form of an array. So I'll just say axios.get https. And I'll say json placeholder.tpco.com slash users. That's one. And then second, I'm also passing another one axios.get https uh, json placeholder.tpco.com and uh, these are free apis just like some mock data which you could use so i have already demonstrated in my previous video so you could refer to that and uh, in this case, we are passing two API calls in the form of a promise.all. But if you see, it is it is represented in the form of an array. So because these are two different calls, so the first call is this zero index. The second call is the first index. Now, what we are asking is, we are asking that promise.all should actually um, make all wait for all the promises to resolve and once it is resolved then it results combine the results into a single dot then so what we'll use it dot then and we'll use a data out here let's say yeah data and uh, we can access the elements out here so in the form of this data uh, object that's returned back to us now, if I want to see console.log, I could see data from first uh, API call. Now, that's what 
you could actually see this with the help of uh, data of zero and then you will get the data as a key out there which you could access so now here we are just capturing the zero it means the result that has been captured from the first api so let's see whether this works for us or not so if i just try to run node test.js so yes it gives me all the data out here so some data about the users so id name username something like that now if you want to do the second one uh, which is let's say data from the second api call so you could just access it with an array data one of data because all the results are given in the form of an array which could be accessed by the index so now if you try to run that so you could get the another one also so if you see this is your to do's the second one uh, and uh, if we just a little bit go above so that's where you could be able to see where we started printing it uh, it's a long list so let's just go above and check it out where yeah so this is for the data from the second call api that's where it started it off and this is the one data from the first api call so you can see guys it's uh, simple nothing rocket science uh, promise.all is just like using multiple api calls and returning as a single promise when all the promises have been resolved so uh, sometimes you have a requirement to fetch data from different apis and then wait for them combine them together and then finally use it on your node or react and then go from there so at that situation promise.all can help you out in a better way so I hope guys you would uh, like this video and it would be helpful to you in your day to day jobs where you are making multiple API calls or waiting for certain results. Uh, I'll be back with some another videos so stay tuned and have a good one. Thank you.